I realized that education was a platform to let the world know of who we are. Maya Nuan Blajar, Anang Na Nulias Tentang Kami, which basically means wherever you study, don't forget to write about us. My dad was the only Iban in a Chinese school in Cebu. There was a lot of prejudice. Hey, you're Iban, you're not gonna get far. When you grow up in that environment where people tell you that like, you're not gonna be much because of, sorry, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> because of who you are or what you're born into, I mean, it sucks. I think we have to recognize that most children in Malaysia don't have the same starting point. Students, you know, who live in KL, they have a different opportunity. I think is our biggest challenge is actually recognizing that in the first place. 2021, uh, I received an acceptance to University of Pennsylvania and I went on Google. I literally typed up scholarships in Malaysia for master students studying in the US. Yaya San Kazana came up and I was ready and I applied. Untuk tahun uh, 2023, kita dah anugerahkan sebanyak 115 beasiswa untuk melanjutkan pelajaran keluar dan dalam negara. Kita juga telah memberikan 200 grant belajar kepada pelajar sekolah menengah dan juga kita tawarkan tiga anugerah untuk program fellow dan juga program jangka pendek bagi tahun 2023. I studied a Master's of Science in Education in International Education Development. I wanted to study a field that allowed me to see the global perspective, but how does that relate back to my community, especially the Iban community? Representation matters, I think, in so many ways. I would not have been able to do that without the scholarship. Uh, untuk uh, beasiswa Yayasan Kazana, kita memberikan beasiswa kepada belia untuk meneruskan pengajian mereka di luar negara dan juga di dalam negara. Melalui pemberian beasiswa tersebut, para belia dapat uh, melanjutkan pelajaran dan juga mendapatkan worldview uh, yang lebih luas di luar negara dan juga di dalam negara. The first thing that made me realize I could do this was the fact that the Yayasan Kazana team even believed in me in the first place. I was like, you, you're here, you're listening to what I have to say. <laughs> and they're like, yeah. And then when I got it, they were, it was like, wow, you, you believe in the things that I'm capable of. Sepanjang pengajian uh, Don di UPenn, Don tidak pernah goyah daripada apa yang dia dah tetapkan. Beliau pernah berkata di dalam uh, temuduga tersebut, saya nak menjadi Menteri Pelajaran di Sarawak. Dan sehingga hari ini, dia sangat uh, passionate in terms of perjuangkan hak-hak pendidikan, terutamanya uh, untuk mendekatkan uh, kesaksamaan uh, pendidikan di antara luar bandar dan juga bandar. In 10 years time, I do see myself influencing education in Sarawak. Wherever I'm going, I, I kind of want to head in the direction where a school teacher or even a school leader or someone in the Ministry of Education had questions or was like, you know, we need to consult experts. I'd like to think I would be the first person they would turn to. <laughs> I really hope to be the Minister of Education for Sarawak. Um, I wouldn't say all of Malaysia. I think that that is a further goal <laughs> in my mind. Whether I get there, that, that's okay. But at least in Sarawak, at least in my community, so that every single student when they come out of school has a fighting chance in wherever they go next. <laughs>